Hey guys, welcome to another launch hour review. Today I'm going to try this new Latin inspired Del Corazon Carazon, uh, flavors. This one is the chicken adobe rice. It's flavor, 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 flavor packed white rice blended with white chicken, uh, onions, peppers, and adobo seasoning. It looks pretty good. It's a one pound, 16 ounces, 454 gram meal. It says it's an entree, so I'm guessing this is for more than one person. Um, this is frozen. We bought it at Meyer for $4.59, which isn't bad. Um, here's the calories. So there's three servings in the container. One cup, 155 grams is 220 calories. You eat the whole thing. I don't know if it's focused or not. I can't tell. Um, because I'm not focused, so you know, whatever. Um, it, the whole package is five, uh, 650 calories. And of course, Tammy always has pictures at the end. So you can cook these a different couple different ways. Um, let me just read this. It says, nothing brings excitement to your meal quite like the vibrant colors and distinctive flavors of Latin style cuisine. Our take on this classic dish starts with tender grilled chicken. Then we toss in a medley of white rice, diced onions, red and green bell peppers, and adobo, se adobo seasoning. Um, make it a meal. You can pair it with different stuff, of course. Um, you can pan fry it right here, or you can microwave it. And it's actually saying the microwave is the preferred method. So there you go. Um, so we're going to place, place a self-vending bag of rice in the microwave with the proper side facing up, seam side up. Cook on high for five minutes or until hot. Um, vending bag will inflate. Do no need to puncture. Contents will be hot. Okay. Uh, that's literally all it says. So $4.59 at Myers. Let's see what it looks like. Does it have a pool tab? No, it does not. These are made by the same people that made the Innovation meals. So I think that's kind of cool. Oh, it's literally just a bag. Seam side up. So this is the side... This is the side you want up. I may put this on a, a plate or something just in case it um, pops or something like that. But uh, I'm going to get it in the microwave for uh, five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did put it on a plate, but it didn't leak or anything. So it did inflate, but it didn't uh, deflate it once I took it out. So who knows? Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to put it on an actual plate. Because I, I think it would be bad to put it on a paper plate. I'm sure there's some good steam in here. So let that out so it won't... Uh, won't burn you. It's cutting across the top with scissors. Taking this, dumping it. Quite a bit of rice there. Hip fell over. <laughs> um, do I want a spoon? I can get a spoon. I had a spoon close by. I didn't have a fork. Okay, I do see plenty of rice, plenty of peppers. I uh, do see a few onions. Don't see a ton of chicken. It's very small pieces. Like, well, that's a piece of chicken right there. Uh, there's a little piece. It looks like a, like a seasoned rotisserie chicken almost. So there is chicken in there for sure. And I like it that the rice is good and uh, broken up. It's not all clumpy and stuck together. Sorry, I'm hitting the plate. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a minute. Rice cools off pretty quick anyway. But I'm going to take this over to the plate and we'll give it a try. Uh, I looked up just the adobo uh, seasoning. It is uh, like garlic powder, onion powder, and uh, um, paprika is what it says. It also has some like yeast extract and something to keep it from clumping and some other stuff. Uh, salt, sugar, things like that. And it says spices, whatever spices is. So I've got a bite. I've got chicken. i got the peppers. There's some onions in there. Of course, there's rice. So here we go. The texture is spot on. Like the rice is cooked really well. It's good and tender, but it's not clumped up or sticky. Um, the chicken is good and tender. The peppers actually add a little bit of a, of a sweetness, which is not like sweet, like sugary, but sweet, like in a sweet peppers kind of flavor. I really like it that they added the green and red peppers because that really adds a lot of uh, like complexity to the flavor, for lack of a better word. And still, just being rice and like uh, paprika, um, the peppers and onions really do add a, a layer of flavor to it that it wouldn't have otherwise. So I like that. The chicken, there's not a ton of chicken in here, just to let you know. It's 
like I just now got a piece of chicken. It's really good and tender, so that's a good thing. But um, but you don't get tons of it. And I really like the onions. Everything in here is very tender. The chicken is about the only thing you really have to chew. Everything else is like you just swallow it whole and it would be fine. Um, yeah, I like the texture of the, all this really well. I think two people could easily eat this um, by itself. There's for sure enough rice there. If you split, two people could eat all this rice and um, have a pretty good meal. So $6.50 for the whole thing, what, $3.25 if you were to split it evenly? No, I don't think that's bad at all for the for the rice and the flavors you get. Um, it does have this like smoky pepper flavor, uh, peppers flavor, and um, you really get the, you almost taste the rice too, so that's nice. Then you get the peppers and the onions also going in there. The chicken, I don't taste, but it does add some texture difference in there, which is nice. It has like, it's all just rice and, and the, the little bit of a slight crunch from the vegetables. Um, I mean, it's very slight crunch. They're really cooked well. But um, the chicken just adds a little bit something more to chew on than just the rice. So I do like it, even though it doesn't add a lot of flavor to it. A um, little bit of heat in the back of your throat, not bad at all. I think if you, if you absolutely could not handle any spice at all, of course you wouldn't want to eat this. But if you can handle even the slightest hint of spice, I think you'd be okay with this. I mean, I can't, I don't know your level of tolerance for spice, but it's very, very light in the back of my throat. So it's, it's not strong at all. It's not like it's burning my whole mouth or my tongue's on fire or anything. It's just a very, very light tingle uh, in the back of my throat. Some people probably wouldn't get it at all. Um, and some people might be really strong. It just depends on your taste buds, right? I could see putting this under like, um, like making this rice and then having like a baked chicken and putting it on top and we're chopping it up and have a lot more chicken in there than what you get with it. Um, that would be really good. You could also put this in, this would be really nice if you wanted to make your own burritos at home. Like, um, like you wanted to roll your own burritos with tortillas and you want rice and get some beans and some, um, I don't know, some ground beef or chicken or whatever, and you can put it in a burrito, I think that would be an awesome burrito because it would be a, a lot of filler and you would get a lot of burritos out of this too. So I think this is really good. Even goes to side dish for tacos if you wanted to. Two people could definitely eat all this. Three, if you had other stuff. So like if you were having tacos or burritos or something else, chicken on top or something like that, then you could spread it out to three people, but three people would be pushing it if you're just eating rice, uh, it would be it'd be very, very uh, small portions if you're pushing it for three people. But overall, I like it. I like the textures. I like the flavors. It's not it's not the best thing ever. It's almost like a almost like a side dish, honestly, because the chicken's just not a lot of it there. But um, I do like it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think uh, the only thing they could do to increase it or make it better is to add definitely more chicken to it or even bigger hunks of chicken. Uh, I would like that a lot, and uh, um, the flavors are fine. I just think it needs more chicken in to, to be really called chicken adobo rice. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.